Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Today I'm going to be talking about something that uh, creates a lot of issues um, in society to like today. And I know most people can say that they're like guilty of this. Um, I know I am, or at least younger me was. Um, and I don't think that people take it that seriously because it's not, they don't think that it's like a real serious topic. I don't think I've seen any articles or like anything or like any kind of videos that actually address like this one thing like by itself. So enough with the suspense. Uh, the topic I'm going to be just talking about today um, is envy. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that children are more susceptible to being envious of other people than adults. So parents, make sure your kids are watching this and make sure you're watching with, with them because I have a message in here for you too. So before I hop into all of that, if you guys enjoy this video, remember to hit that like button, subscribe, share to your friends, your family, anybody that you can think of. Turn on your post notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload another video. Leave all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Follow me on all of my social medias. I leave them in the description. With all of that being said, let's hop straight into it. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about with this uh, topic um, is the leading cause for uh, envy. And I personally think that it is comparing yourself to other people. Don't do it. Everybody on this planet is supposed to be unique in their own special way. Nobody is supposed to be exactly the same. Nobody is supposed to have the exact same things. Like, don't, don't do that. Now parents, I am talking mainly to y'all for y'all's children. Don't tell your, um, your kids to like, don't compare them to other kids. I know sometimes they might like act out or you know, they might do something that you just don't like. And then like this other child over here is like behaving and then you just have a problem child and you telling them like, you need to act more like this one or like you need, you're just comparing them or um, telling them to be more like the other person. Don't do that because that is going to, with that being a child at uh, like a certain age, like below 10, um, maybe even like below 15, that can like, they can interpret that the wrong way and feel as though they have to actually live like them and try and pretty much just take their life. And they don't need to do that because that is not who they are supposed to be. Um, they can take notes on how to act about certain situations, but they don't need to try and act exactly like that person like you're telling them that. Like, don't, don't tell them to do that. Tell them to, and instead of actually telling them to like be more like that person, tell them to look at that person as, or tell them to just look at that person as uh, a leader, per se. I know that most parents or like some parents, I don't know. I know my parents, at least they told me to always be a leader and not a follower. But if you have a child that's just like a problem child or whatever, and you want them to act more like, well, not act more like, <laughs> um, you just want them to behave more and that they're, you know, acting more like the other child, then you need to tell them to follow them as a leader, not to take over their whole like personality but just to act more accordingly to what they need, like what they having, how they should act at that age and what they should be doing. I don't know if that was confusing, but I'm sorry if it was. Bottom line, parents, don't tell your kids to act like other kids or to, 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 to be more like the other kids because that's going to discourage them and feel like they're not enough and feel like they, um, that the other person is more than them that they need to like actually be like them. And that's like, that's what I'm saying. That's is like the main uh, cause for envy. Comparing yourself or com like having other people compare you to other people. Nobody is supposed to be the same. Nobody is perfect. And nobody is supposed to have the same thing. There's no reason for you to feel as though you need to be envious of other people or like jealous of other people because of what they have or like because of the way that they're living, because you gotta remember, everybody has their own struggles, 
and not like I just like I just said not everybody is perfect now I will say it is good to have a role model there is a difference between like looking up to somebody and actually being envious of that person if you you like if like at a certain age if you can tell the difference between actually having a role model and like looking up to somebody and then just straight up being envious of them then yeah have a role model but um you you have to have that like mentality to know like you're not being jealous of that person you're working to get to where they're at but you don't want what they have you just want to be successful like them or like just to get to a period in your life where you can be like them but not like them but the reason i feel that this is like a major issue in like society and that it needs to be talked about more is because this could this is probably like the leading cause for like so many of like the crimes that go on in uh like everywhere oh my god <coughs> y'all almost just died yeah when people are envious of other people they usually don't even realize that they're being envious like that, that's just a part of how they're thinking now and they've been doing it for so long like i said it leads back to when they were children when their parents told them be more like this person that's where it started don't tell your kids to do i just want to i just want to express that because that's usually where it starts when the parents tell the kids to be more like i understand where you're coming from and where you want them to be at in life. You want them to be successful. You want them to behave. You want them to act right. You want them to make good grades. You want them to do all this stuff. You want them to pretty much act like the other kids, but you gotta make sure, you gotta remember, your child is your child. Your child is its own, his or her own person. Did I say that right? It's, I, you know what I mean. But if you know that your child's mind is not like, mentally like mature enough to understand you know you need to behave like them but not try to be like them when you tell them to act like them or like you just need to watch your wording and you know your child the best so you know if they're ready for that like those certain words and the way you word stuff because kids will take something you say and it just be so innocent and then they just turn it and flip it around because they just don't have the mentality to understand what you're saying because they're just they're just not there yet but you know your child and you know if they're there yet so word your words how you need to word it just to make sure that they don't feel like and have that conversation with them like if you have told your child that and they have gotten better just make sure that you know that they understand that you don't want them to be that child you just want them to behave and just to take them as an example you don't want them to actually like be like them make sure that's clear in their heads like have that conversation with them but back to the crime that's 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 the leading like cause for crime i think because that causes people to want to steal when they get older and they just like see all these other people that have all this good stuff and like they're just struggling they want to steal they want to like rob banks stores anything steal just to steal and they don't really i don't want to say they don't know any better but that's just part of their mentality like okay they have this and i want this because i was always told be more like this person or be like be like a person that is more successful than me that's pretty much what you were telling your ch child be more like the person that's more successful than me and if they grow up with that mentality without having that conversation have that conversation I, I cannot stress that enough have that conversation with your children that is that that have that conversation have it now I will say that that is not like where it always starts Sometimes it starts while you're an adult or like teenage years or whatever. And you're like coming into yourself and you're like, you're just like me. I, um, I was very antisocial as y'all know. And around that high school time, like ninth grade, um, I started to just come out of my shit. Well, eighth grade-ish. 
it was sometime around there. Um, I have a whole video on that. I don't remember exactly when, but it was around that time point where I just started to come out of my shell. And that's around the time where I actually started being more positive. And um, don't judge me. But yeah, during that point, I well, I didn't really have a sense of style for myself yet. And I looked at other people and I was like, mm, I don't really like that. I don't like that. I don't like this. I like this. I want to be like you. I want to be like you. Now, I quickly cut that off. Like, quick. And I owe that to... I, I don't remember his name, but pretty much he told me you will look good in anything if it describes your personality. It has to be your look, not somebody else's. It has to be yours. I took that and ran with it. And from that moment on, I was picking my own, you know, I wasn't looking at other people anymore, like from the third, like I liked like other people like their style and everything but at that point i was making my own style up like i didn't really care about what other people had on anymore i mean they st still look good and stuff not gonna lie they had some good style but you know i'm looking at myself like my personality what describes me and i'm going off of that now that is one thing that teenagers need to understand stop looking at all these celebrities and these um these these influencers as you know these pe people that you need to be like because you will waste your life trying to be like that person and you will never be like them you will never be like them you can be better and you can be similar to them but everybody is different you will never be just like them you have to get that through your mind you will never be just like them you can go through all like surgery and and, and all this other stuff and spend the unnecessary money for what for what live your life stop trying to be like somebody else and that's a big part of being positive you have to have that connection with yourself to know like okay I'm not like anybody else. I'm unique in my own special way, which is, I had to come to that conclusion. Like, cause I, I think I told y'all this in one of my other videos. I was just like, okay, I didn't care what anybody thought anymore. I just started living for me and that was that. Cause I was living my life, making my own, you know, my own, building my own formation. Foundation. I was building my own foundation. But yeah, you just have to have your own like life. You just have to have your own mindset. Okay? You can't go out thinking, okay, I'm gonna be like, now, remember what I said before, nothing wrong with having a role model. There's nothing wrong with having a role model, but you have to be able to have, you have to have that mentality to know whether or not you actually looking up to that person or you're being envious of them. There's nothing wrong with, you know, wanting, you know, a little bit of money and then you see a car that you like and you just like that car and there just happens to be somebody else's car. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you're actually looking at that car and you want it just because the other person got it, you know, you know. Yeah, I really feel like this is a topic that most people like just shrug off because they don't think that it's that important. But this is actually very important to the like mental health for children and teenagers and even adults because there are plenty of adults out here who are trying to live somebody else's life because they don't they don't have, well, for one, they don't have the confidence to say, I don't need to be like that other person. But if you guys know of anybody or like you, you want to like show this to your kids or something or like your future grandchildren or something, I don't know, follow and set your own goal. Follow and set your own goal. Now, do share this video because this is very important. Um, I feel like a lot of people need to see this because they could be envious of other people and not even realize it. It's, it could be the smallest thing, like you just don't even realize that it's there and then it grows gradually and because you've been thinking like that for so long, you don't even know 
But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button, subscribe, share to your friends, your family, anybody that you can think of. I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to stay positive. Thank you.